as I hear you do this, Ron, um, the lines are so long, and I thought I detected uh, a reversal of the airstream. Is that part of the equipment? That's it is, part. yeah. I, I whistle both out and in, and if I, you know, I get to a spot where I think I need a, a little breath, uh, I'll just do a line, some configuration on the way back in, pick up a little more air, and then just as much as a violinist yeah. down bows and so I do it the same way. And there's no change in the sound? No, I don't, you know, I don't think there is. I don't think it's perceivable when you hear me. Okay. Do you practice this kind of thing? Do you practice scales, arpeggios, like you did on your clarinet or flute? Do I go... <whistles> no. I, uh, I don't sit around and do that. I sit at the piano sometimes and just, you know... And that just for fun, but no, I don't make a uh, concerted effort to being a being a woodwind player we think in patterns and do you have something going through your mind this isn't purely abstract this can't be purely abstract no there you know when i when i do especially when i do ballads i think a lot about how that would be on the instrument and what the uh, patterns would be and so forth but when i go fast if I try to think of that, I realize that I probably wouldn't be able to do that on my instrument. So I cut that loose and just, I forget about all these fingering patterns on, uh, on up-tempo things. And you're not thinking necessarily flute or clarinet or alto sax? No. If, if I think anything, it would be clarinet. Clarinet. Because that's my, the instrument I'm, I'm more comfortable with, what I grew up with. So I'd think on clarinet. Okay. I have to say, yeah. Uh, You'd prefer to work with the rhythm section and... Yeah, I like a rhythm section. I like kind of a quiet, understated rhythm section. A guitar, bass and drums, or Fender Rhodes, bass and drums. It seems to suit what I'm doing a little better.
I do classical. I did a flute recital a little while back and did the Telemann uh, Sonata in F.
was fun. Pure classical music? Yeah, pure classical. You don't classical. try to add a jazz lick in no, there? No, no, no. I read it right from the music. I do it as it is. Yeah. And it's, the whole aesthetic experience is classical? Mm. Absolutely. In every way, okay. Yeah, all the interpretation. What's your next, um, what's your next project? What's in, the, what's in the fire? The next thing I'm doing, I'm going to Monterey in September to do the Monterey Jazz Festival. It's their 25th anniversary. I'm going to be working with people I've admired for years. Mundell Lowe on guitar, Shelley Mann on drums, Rufus Reed on bass, John Lewis on piano, and I'm working with a jazz bassoonist, Ray Pizzi. <laughs> Me, him. That's gonna and be I'm nice. gonna, I'm gonna do a tune there. Uh, whistle while you work. <laughs> uh, this is a, a significant change from the career you've had as a musician, as a writer of Jingles and How did it all start, please? Well, you know, my wife said to me uh, about 15 months ago, Gee, you know, you've whistled on jingles, occasionally on jazz jobs, you would put your horn down and whistle a chorus or two and everybody liked it. Why don't you try this? Why don't you go for it, for real? And I said, ah, oh, come on, everybody will laugh. I mean, a guy up there whistling. But she encouraged me and said, uh, well, give it a shot. Try it once. And I did, under great duress, knowing that everyone would laugh. Nobody <laughs> laughed. Nobody, Nobody laughed. So. I started getting confidence in this thing, and the more I did it, uh, the more it seemed that people really liked it, and so it's just taken off like crazy.